Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to episode, what is it, 38? I don't know. Episode 38, King of Kings. <sighs> this is uh, the JoJo show. This is going to be a live reaction. By live reaction, we need, we mean pre-recorded and put up later. Not actually live. But we are going to be reacting to this episode today, so get ready for that, all right? I have I know what's going on. Kush's and I'm very hyped. excited. Kush has been hyping this up for months, for an eternity. All right, Eric doesn't know what's going on. Eric's Correct. Not You're not ready for the requiem of Jordan Giovanni. Expect some hype. All right. So, without further ado, let's just uh, let's get into the episode. Yeah, let's do this. All right. Classic King Crimson. <laughs> Bag. This is a little recap. A little recap, huh? Not you. What do you think about that move? Of, it's, uh, Andy, it's a move. Hitting your own self for momentum. It definitely is a move. Trish, Trish seemingly dead. Trish, you. Now, this might be the last opening, because there is a two-week break, and then, a, and then an hour episode. Okay. So. And that's it. Last time for the gangster, maybe. Now, has this opening grown on you? Yeah, but it's not as good as fighting gold, you know. <laughs> Actual edit side effects? Yeah. Oh shit! They better do it. I hope they fucking do it. Do what? You'll see. What are they gonna do? You'll see. I hope they fucking do it. Might spoil the episode. There is indeed more sound effects. I don't just know how I feel about them. Stay gold, baby. Oh, the classic. And this is just what JoJo's about. Exactly. What do you think about the extra touch of getting an Italian man to sing this? Yep. I wouldn't do the shit for the One Piece opening. Yeah, that's tomorrow. I'm excited. Oh, they didn't do it. They didn't do it. I might do it next week. How do you feel about these extra sounds? It's going to be great. In the opening. Uh, so it's a one-time deal. Let's just do it, you know? Just give me that record right away. Just to tell you that this is the last episode, alright? I'll look at that. Trishu. See, how is he still alive, even though the body died? Listen, all right, there's fucking two souls in one body. He's a parasite. He doesn't need a body, right? But he did get damaged from that. I hope you realize it. Oh, shit. Oh, dear. Nani? Didn't work. Is he already evolved? No. What happened last week, huh? What happened last week? Who Ooh. died last week? What, Bucciarati? No. Fucking Doppio. Requiem. Yeah. It's dead. So what, it's gonna cool down or something? Uh, well, the effects are taking place, right? So, uh, he thinks they're all going back to their bodies. 
Right. So the raccoon dies, everyone's going back. So that's why he stabbed himself, but he wasn't in that place because he thinks he's whatever, you know what I mean? Since he's going back to his body, his soul. There you go, They put in extra frames this week, mate. Mate, I told you. But, brutal idea, you know. Rip. Also, this is pretty fucked up. His body's pretty fucked up. But Gelati telling him what's up. Now, these souls should be gold. What's going on? That's right, mate. Oh, he's always begging. He's begging. That's why we got... There you go, bud. Dead. Now, does this thing have blood? Uh, let's go. This is body's fucked up, by the way. Oh shit! Oh shit! No, no, Brutalani. It's gold, baby. The man himself finally spinning off to heaven, huh? Now was this rendered gold? Yes. In the, uh, manga. The music. No. Uh, Wow, we knew he was dying for a long time. The man, the myth, the legend. The true captain. How can you forget the Poochie fight, huh? Not Poochie, fucking... Pish. Beach boy. <sighs> give me that speech and then give me that. Keep, keep the sweat <laughs> You gotta get the drugs off the street, Eric. You gotta get the drugs off the street. Don't forget the plot line. That Iraqi shoulder broken straight, not repeating it. He's gonna go join Abasha, Narancha. <sighs> Surprising amount of characters die this uh, season, huh? More than usual. No. Uh, uh, yeah. He's still trying to grab it, mate. You can't. Ha, ha, ha. See, this is, this is where he loses because he's getting desperate. The boss didn't stay gold. You, you gotta stay gold. Mr. Oof. <sighs> grab the arrow draw, though. No. No. No, nah, he's fucked, mate. Shouldn't he have a hole through his fucking chest? He punched the stand, you know? Oh, no. Oh. Of course. The holy music. Oh, shit. I told you Christianity's real in the JoJo verse. Look at this man. How Iraqi is this? Next level Iraqi. That's why a part nine idea yeah. is the best. Exactly. What do you think about these clouds? I could have done a bit. Oh shit. Oh shit. What do you think of the clouds now, huh? It's got the arrow. Dual shading, man. Oh shit. What? It's time, oh, baby. Shit. You see those Requiem, uh, stats? Alright, we don't need to see everyone's souls going back into their bodies. 
Mate, that's why it's called Golden Wind. Because of Bucciolati. Oh, that dog's name is Benedict, mate. That's right. Don't forget that character. What is Jono Dan? It's not that. Fate, mate. But you keep on skipping fate. You keep on breaking fate. And you're going to get punished. Oh, shit. Why is he all fucked up for? He's, he's, he's groggy, alright? Why does he just stay gold? The villains never stay gold. That's why they lose. Yes, it is. Right? He's not staying gold. God damn it. Oh, shit. Trish. The souls are all groggy, all right? Uh, Except for Jordan. I don't know why he felt collapsed. Oh, just give it to me. Maybe a little bit of fucking shot progression errors. We'll let it slide. There you go. There's the opening. Oh, shit. Look at his hair. It's evolved. You can't escape fade, baby. Exactly. He lost his pride. He didn't stay gold. Oh, here. All right. Oh, shit. It's got that sorrow. It's got that speed. Why does he just skip time? Oh, here we go. Why do I hear zips? He's got that, he's got that leafing skills. He said the future. What did he see? Seen that fail. Come on, give it. Oh, no. We to put a hole through him. <laughs> what happened? What happened to Requiem Chariot? It also exploded. Mm. He thinks he's one. Classic villain. You want a suitable vessel? No. no. Fate. Oh shit. It's evolving.
Oh, it's gold, baby. Oh, shit. If you read part four, saw part four. Okay. That's what happened. Give us the reveal! He shed his skin. He evolved. Oh, shit. Why is he flying, Eric? Why is he flying? Oh, gold. Oh, shit. <laughs> ba ba ba. Why didn't they gold? Come on. It'll turn gold. Beyond. Beyond the power. Oh, shit. Look at the power. Everything turns into scorpions, baby. It's so powerful. Give us a speech. Board of Truth, baby. Mate, that's not even the path of the brokenness. All right. Mr. Uh, tell us it's not going to happen, huh? <laughs> why, would, why would that be? It's too fast, baby. Tremendous power. Mr. Mr. Get it into the action, huh? Oh, shit. It's fine in space. Don't do the bullets, huh? Bullets have no effect, mister. Trash. Classic called Doing the classic move. He's a prediction. He's won. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's this?
reversing time. This ability is so broken. Can't wait for the explanation. You gotta read the explanation, alright? Oh shit. <laughs> the fuck is going on? I told you the broken eyes. <laughs> You will never arrive at the truth. What do you think about that ability? Do you understand what that means? <laughs> Just acts on its own. A broken. Can't arrive at the truth, man. You will never arrive at the truth when you go up against Requiem. Whoa. The murder. No. Oh. To be continued. Didn't even get the last bit of brokenness. What do you think about that? So basically, right? He always wins, that's his stand. His ability is, right, get this, mm. those who go up against Requiem yeah. will never arrive at the point of victory. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? Because he just that? reverses the, the faith. He reverses the truth. No. Does he bend the truth to his will? You have a 0% chance of winning. You will never win. You will never win. So basically, regardless of anything. So if someone attacks him, he just reverses his time backwards or reverses their stand ability. You will never arrive at the truth right. of victory when you go up against Gold Experience Requiem. So it's not it, it's not that he reverses time; it's that no. he reverses the ability. It's not even reverse. Right. It's just like you will never you arrive at the truth slash victory. If you are going to win, no, you will not arrive. You will. You have a zero percent chance of winning. What do you think about that? Plus yeah. his light beams. Plus, plus insane speed of light. Blasting through holes. Creating it. enemies. I lost lots of scorpions. Lots of scorpions. Plus the ability that will be revealed in next week's episode. Alright. There's more. But wait, there's more. Alright. Alright. I was expecting... They really slowed down the pace of this. Alright. They want that hour special. Two, two weeks? Two weeks hour special. We will get, see, you know how, uh, you know the opening, how uh, King Crimson, mm. uh, you know, is in his time zone? I would expect the Rack Room to come out and be like, all right. Okay. So we'll get that in the opening next week, hopefully, and we'll get the ending with Rack Room at the top, all right? So, there's the reaction. I told you it's broken. Would you ever have predicted that brokenness? You just can't win. Exactly. Exactly. You will never arrive at victory. At the stage that's of victory. what that's what it explained as in the little card Araki gives you in the manga. Then what does that mean? When you go up against Requiem, you will never arrive at victory. 
All right, we'll figure this out in the review. All right, there you go. There's the reaction. Great episode. All right, we're back after after breakfast. All right, we had a, a about forty minutes to soak it in. All right, uh, this it was episode 20, 37, not thirty eight. I right, got the got that wrong. Just clarify that. All right, thirty seven. All right. Uh, we just reacted to the episode, so we're not going to go through the, the synopsis and plot. We're I don't know if that reaction was uh, entertaining, but, you know. I mean, it is. it is what it is. You know, we're not the reaction type. That's why we don't do it. Mm. Uh, so, you you want to say that? It's up there, alright? So, what do we think about King of Keys? It's busted. It's busted, alright? I told you. Could you have imagined how busted it was? The ability's busted. Yep. The way it's executed it, ability-wise, pretty good. Yeah. What else? I want to talk to you about... What? How this was revealed. Yeah. Not that much fanfare. I know. I was expecting more fanfare. Where's the fanfare? More gold. Why isn't Jono gold? Where's the gold aura? Strange. It was the arrow? I feel like the arrow was less saturated this week. It was a lighter yellow, not not as gold. Yeah, we're missing. We're missing Q. I would have done. I would have got gold. I would have done more gold. Where's Where's the wind. orchestra? It was there when uh, Butchalani died. No transformations. He kind of was. It does. It doesn't transform in the manga either. It's kind of it comes. But give it a little bit it of evolves, flare, Christian. It evolves from the cocoon. Sure, give it a little it's bit. It's a surprise. Flare. None of you what's going on. All right. Where's the gold aura? Where's the gold sparkly? Shit. All right. That's Where's right. the holy light? I mean, it was there, but it wasn't there. You know what I mean? It was there. It was in there, but mm. it wasn't when, uh, you know, that fight when Mister fights the ice guy, Jordo appears, and there's the holy light. Yeah. It wasn't like that, but. Still good. Now, people out there might be a little confused by this, what this ability is. So, we have gone to the manga. We have got the, the box where Iraqi explains the ability. The ability is called Return to Zero. Alright? Gold Experience Requiem's true uh, ultimate ability is to turn any of its opponent's attacks and willpower back to the state of zero. Completely nullifying them and preventing them from becoming the truth. Hence, it is virtually invisible as seen when uh, King Crimson gets reversed. Also, extra speed, extra power, and insane life giver ability. So, what do you think about that? Also, you have to hit them with gold experience energy for this effect to work. As we see in the episode, he gets hit by the... I mean, he shoots a light beam, so it's not a big issue. It's busted. It's busted. Absolutely busted. I told you it was busted. He wins every situation. It's basically... He basically just goes this. You get nothing. You lose. He wins. He goes, I win. That's his ability. Now, he's basically a god at this point. Sure. As it says in the episode, King of Kings. How do you win? You don't win. You don't win. You don't win. Now, the boss not staying gold. Sweaty. Sweaty. Freaking out. He's going to bail. Desperate. Desperate. That's why he loses. He didn't stay gold. Christian, he was never gold. He was, he was calm. He was collected. He had the will to win. The sheer paranoia this man has never made him gold. That's true. But he always took the right pre- precautions. He always did the right thing. He always tried to win. Mm. He always had that will to win. And that will, well, he always he but he broke fate, so that's why he's getting the ultimate punishment next week. Now, now is Jono so gold that he is allowed to break fate? He is the arbiter of fate. He is the king of kings. Okay. So it doesn't matter. The man has been chosen by fate. To be the to be to the be, golden to boy. To be fate's will. Exactly. Okay. You cannot win against him. Return now, to zero. For fans of the show who know what's going on. Yeah. I unlocked the power of Adrian. 
some weeks ago when yeah. Dio captured me. Yeah. And we found out what its ability is. It's subconscious ability. Subconscious ability. Yes. It is able to twist space and time. Space and time. Now look at, let's just show the audience the pre precautions Eric goes to make sure my cables his don't cables twist. don't twist. Wires around them. Him just wearing things. Twist. Wearing headphones. Twist the cables up. Yeah. I'm going to plug his headphones in to my my cables. Instant twist. Instant twisted. It's craziness. What's the deal? I think we found out the ability of Adrian. Okay. Alright. So, let's just talk about other things about this episode. Bruno finally dies. It's been coming for weeks. We now expected... this was fair, fair, Christian. This was fair, fair. Gold. Holy music. Holy light. Why isn't gold experience this gold? Just how it is. Araki said no. Okay. It's not gold. It's, it's, it's a white ivory. It's white and gold. A bit of purple. Yeah. Royal colors. All right? Araki made it that way. It's kind of like an evolution. Because, like, you could say that like, Gold Experience looks like a beetle, right? With the yeah. with the hat and the wings and shit. Evolves out of the cocoon and becomes the being of a great power. So, it's, more like, it's got, like, a butterfly pattern on it. Why does he have a blue aura? I don't know. He has a gold aura the entire time. Upset, upset me. Upset me. It's confusing, just in terms of like. What should be gold next week? It must be an error or something. I don't know why they did that. I doubt it's an error. He's but a- I imagine they reanimate the Buddha next week. Extra effects. This is the thing, right? What? We have the whole bullet scene with Mister. Yeah. Many times. Yeah. Mister's blue. Jono's gold. Exactly. Why is even, he blue here? Even when he shoots the beam. Yeah, he's gold. gold. That was the appropriate level of gold. Yes. The aura, blue. Annoying. There's more fanfare in the manga. Okay. Everything's gold. Gold dust everywhere. Golden wind. As it says in the subtitle of this season. Golden wind. Alright? Where's the golden wind? Nowhere. Right? Maybe next, next week, week. Maybe next week. 100% next week. They're going to reanimate that Muna. It's going to be extra spicy. Extra gold. And we're gonna get the full effects of Return Zero, cause that's not the that's a, that's not the full effects. Now you told me this is gonna be over in an episode, which you're incorrect. In two weeks, there's gonna be an hour special. Now I can't imagine that. So no Fugo. Uh, I can't imagine why the ending to this fight would take more than ten minutes. So we've got 15 minutes to fill. The epilogue, not that long. Maybe they add shit. Maybe they add some extra stuff there. Mm. Who knows what they're going to do in two weeks, all right? Now, that stuff's up the uh, Fashion God tournament. Okay. So next week, we're going to have to... Maybe we do a Fashion God bonus episode. Okay. All right, for that. So... It's like a like, two-minute episode. The full extent of Return to Zero... Will be explained next week. Okay. This is only the additional effect, all right? Get ready for even more brokenness, all right? Oh, I'm ready. Oh, the brokenness hasn't finished. You thought it was over. It's not over, all right? Now, I've been saying this ability is broken for months. Yes. Was that, was that justified? It's broken, but it's not, you know, bombastic. It's not like I control all life in the universe. You will find out why it's bombastic all right. next week. So Unfortunate that they split this up. Unfortunate. Okay. The pacing a little slow this week. Milking it. Milking reactions. They could have just done an, an elaborate fanfare for Jorno. They, did it for, they did it for Bruno, yeah. which I appreciate. The man flying up with the angels and cherubs in the sky. Told you, Christianity real, very much real in this universe. Yeah. Got angels and shit. Part 9 idea. Part 9 idea. Proven in this episode. Okay. Can you even imagine that idea? Alright. Great idea. Rocky loves it. Alright. So, of course, because Bruno always stayed gold. So he ascends to the heavens as a gold man, as a gold soul. Yep. He's gold. Bruno is the embodiment of staying gold. Alright. Even in death. He stayed so gold he couldn't die, right? 
That's how gold he was. Now, Eric called the Requiem Switching Souls ability. They go, they're going back to their souls. He called that. Yeah. Which is what happened. Which is why the boss didn't get the arrow. He thought he won. But no. But no, he didn't Some win. weird soul stuff's going on. Because he broke the shadow of the soul, therefore But it wasn't soul's... really broken because Bruno zipped it up. To and, then, it. and then he broke it. Therefore, his soul was intangible. So the arrow didn't pierce him. Goes back. Didn't get the arrow. And then, of course, for some reason, Jordan was knocked out. Maybe that's an error. That's an error. That's an error. Because in the next shot, he's, he's, he's standing, standing with in the, the arrow mist. in his hand. Yeah. And before that, he was standing with the arrow in his hand. Yeah. Weird, weird or little error there. Or yeah. So, Jordan stabs himself. Now, it seems like it didn't work. But I don't know, it did work. The arrow jumps into his wrist. If you've seen part four... For the people who haven't seen Part 4. This is what happened to Kira with the arrow. It yes. went up his wrist and he got his extra ability. Did he get chosen by the arrow? Chosen by the arrow. Okay. All right. Jumped into his wrist by random. Happens stance. All right. Jumps into his wrist, transforms. The soul evolves out of the cocoon of its former self to the brokenness. And he wins. Now, some people are going to be upset by this. There's no fight. What was the fight? Araki had no ideas how to beat King, King, King Crimson. No, he already told you how to beat King, King Crimson. The blood thing. There's ways to beating it. Araki's just like, the arrow is the fight. The, a third of this season is about getting the arrow. Which we is talked why, about this before. Yeah, it's the MacGuffin. you got to get the MacGuffin and you win. Jordan got the MacGuffin, he wins. Alright? And... I guess the whole season is a troll for Jordan o to be worthy of the arrow. Of beating the boss. Exactly. He had to stay gold, he had to evolve. Which is why people aren't really like upset. Yeah. Because it's felt earned. Like the journey. Yeah. It's about the journey. It's about finding that it's not like the arrow fell out of the sky and it's Best sequence is still the train. Hundred percent. Greatness. Yeah. That's a great sequence. It'll go down to history, no doubt. Mm-hmm. Uh the uh maybe the, it's hard to talk about this The uh, Yeah, the fucking seven-page murder classic. Now... Now, this isn't a Jorno... This isn't a Jotaro Dio classic here. That we're talking about this fight. No, because it's not a fight. Yeah. Right? It's, Araki, not a, it's not a fucking four-episode classic. But we already did that. Alright, because like, we already did that. Yeah. I'm not doing that again. Alright, so we've got this. Uh, it's going to get mixed uh, reactions. Okay. So people are going to be like, whoa, where's the fight? This thing's too broken. There you go. There it is. I feel like people are invested in the characters and to see Jorno win yeah. uh, will be satisfactory enough. Yeah. So. I mean, the stand itself is beyond Jorno's comprehension, as stated in the episode. Yeah. It's also beyond time. He's This stand's active in the, reverse, in the erased time. Beyond time. Beyond space. Um, uh, an insane ability. Uh, just imagine the kind of brokenness other stands would have with his Requiem. I mean, as I was saying a couple of weeks ago, the Requiem is kind of like the ability you need in the moment it is activated. Yes. It's the ultimate I win. Kind of move. Card. Yeah. Sort of like, um, the case we saw, the, the Requiem's goal was to take Protect the arrow. arrow. Take the arrow. Get, make sure no one gets the arrow. Yeah. That's what its will is. That's what its goal is. Gold experiences will is to defeat the boss. And he's going to do it by breaking the laws of reality. Alright? That's what he's going to do. The predictions are 100% correct, but what happens... If you never get to the prediction, if the reality was turned to zero, what would happen? You lose. That's what happens. Okay. Now, power scaling debates are going to arise from this. Can Jordo literally defeat anyone in any verse? There's arguments there. He still needs a physical power to beat someone. Gold experience. Gold experience doesn't do damage. It is extra power, extra it speed. Does, he does have light bands, that's true. Uh, Does he flick that rock to make a light beam? Yes. yes. Of course. And then that rock turns into 16, 16 scorpions. 16 scorpions. 
Imagine the, instantly. Instant, does it need to uh, cocoon? No. Imagine, imagine if you will, Jordan trains with this ability. This is it's awakening. This isn't even him evolving the stand through time. Seems like battles. he can't lose the R either. It's embedded. It's embedded into his soul. There we go. Now I want to know in the comments below: Was this satisfactory? satisfactory? Did was my hyping of this brokenness justified? I feel like oh. you hyped it for me to see lots of fanfare, and there was I, no fanfare. I thought there was gonna be fanfare myself, and they didn't do it, which is questionable. In the manga, gold everywhere, light beams, fucking everyone, gold. Soul, Araki gold took mist. his time. Would you say? Yeah, he did. He did take his time. Lots of panels of joy, and fucking brutality, fucking soul going up to the heavens, same cherubs and shit. Yeah. Fanfare, light, great pacing and all that kind of stuff. This episode, I don't know why they chose to... I don't know why they chose to delay the ending of the fight. It's not that much more. We could have sped this episode up a little bit. Maybe got the ending, so... David Productions kind of dropped the ball... Right? There you go. Kind of dropped the ball. Yep. So, four out of five. They dropped the ball. It's still hype. It's still hype as fuck. They dropped the ball a little bit, which is they, unfortunate. They went out of their way to animate the front half well. Extra details that usually aren't in the episode. You've got sure. double shadows. you got, you got, you got cross-hatching shit. You got smoke animated on singles. But sometimes they did, sometimes they didn't. Sometimes they're doing some After Effects stuff with the smoke and sure. layers. It's all very... Now, they might redo it in the hour special. Which is weird. I'm not, this hour special saw me off completely. Well, if they really? do it again, hopefully it's far better. They might do this whole sequence I'm again. I'm you know? They might do this whole sequence again. Yes. Because is it... I can't see him doing the Fugo stuff in this hour special now that we have the back half of this fight still to be done. And then... It, we'll I feel see. like this Coliseum sequence is lasting way too long. It's very long in the manga. Okay. Because this is the fight. This is the fight. And then it's over. So there you go. There it is. Four out of five episode. We'll be back in two weeks. For the hour special. No, because in the Fashion God. In the Fashion God tournament. It's unfortunate. This, uh... This... If people remember... Yes. We talk about Jotaro. Yeah. We talk about Dio. Yeah. We talk about iconography. Yes. Which is fashion. Exactly. Hand in hand. You can't deny it. Exactly. But Rohan, Rohan Very versus Dio. Now they're kind of wearing the same thing, right? Midriff, uh, cut off, of, cut off, sh cut off jacket. Rohan got his stomach exposed. Dio has the hard cock piece, of course. The hard cock piece is almost unbeatable. There you go. That, well, I think Eric's made his decision already. It's the like. We talk about this all the time. Sure. You talk about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. You think about that. You don't even think about any... But... You don't even think about any JoJo. You think you about think Dio. You think about Dio. Everyone wants to see Dio, Dio return. Classic anime villain. Oh, it's classic, an all-time classic anime villain. Classic outfit right here. Yeah. Classic pose. The go A rare occasion that Golden Green works. Yes. Very rare. Very good. Solid color choice here. But Rohan also has green and gold. The black sells it, though. The black does sell it. Sort of pulls pulls in the focus. Yeah. So you look at that, the black, and then it, and it unfolds from there. Nice separation between clothes. Exactly. Black. How, you just look at the muscularity. Yeah. What about the gold braces, Christian? The extra, the, the extra gold braces. It, it, helps, it helps separate the clothes from where the actions happen. Yes. The fists. You have the, the hard headband. The, the hair. It's classic. It's all-time classic. But Jotaro 
did lose to uh, our, our boy Brutalati, the man who always takes gold. Yes. So uh, it's gonna have to be Dio. It has to be Dio. It has to be Dio. You know. You know why, Christian? How can you deny? Just a flesh. That one. How can you deny that? You can't. You can't deny it. They are a most iconic JoJo character in the story. Sure. By far. By far. That is delicious. It's gonna have to be it's gonna have to be Christian, he's a delicious villain. Hundred percent. Now is he the OG fruity villain? Or did a few come before him? Uh we're gonna have to find out, huh? When was when was part three? Like eighty something? Eighty six. Well, Dio's in part one. Let's not forget about part one. Was he fruity in part one? Yes. Okay. Well, he was fruity when he became a vampire. So, I guess you could say that. Okay. Dio, the original fruity villain. The, the, the classic anime trope originally debuted in JoJo part one. Okay. But let's fit into the ball star. I'm not sure about the history of that. Doesn't seem like a fruity show to me. No, just all muscle and, and gore. Yes. And, uh, Nani. Alright. Let's move on to the questions. Uh, Dear wins. Dear wins. So Apologies, wins. Rohan. You had a good, you had a good run. You had a good run. You got good fashion. I'm not going to deny that. Next. Alright. From CPT said, Captain said, Question. I'm assuming Diablo will get a low diff next episode since apparently the fight is to, the arrow, to chase the arrow and get gold experience rec room is the finisher, plus Christian hyping up the Requiem. For good reason! Could you, you, you can't, you cannot... Let us know if the ju- uh, the hype is justified. You cannot predict the ability to return to zero, to always win. You can't predict that. Okay. Alright, uh, that's a broken ability. So how do you guys feel about uh, getting this Requiem brokenness rather than an extra fight between Diablo and Jordo? Kind of talked about this. We kind of talked about this. I'm okay with it. What do I prefer? A broken fight with two broken men. The characters are so strong in the, terms the, of their character. Yeah. That you don't really care that much. You want to see a fight because you know Jordan's gold. If if Jordan would have to fight King Crimson, his will's already been tested. Yeah, multiple times. Multiple times. Around so it's not season. like he isn't deserving of the win. Yeah. He's, he's defeated all the enemies. He's he's uh, given hope to his crew. All that kind of stuff. So, let's just... Uh, yeah, would right, I, I'd like to I, see some crazy would fight. Would I crazy fight, but you would have had to tone down Requiem massively. Now, would you have to make a completely new ability? Because I don't know how you incorporate Return to Zero any other way. Would you have to have some sort of neutralization of the time stopping? So just be hand to hand. That's 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 a big issue, right? Okay. So there you go. It's it's complicated. Uh, I I like this ending. I think it's good. Everyone everyone used their ability. It was a team up fight to get the arrow. Everyone used their abilities. King Crimson killed like four pe two people in that fight. Yep. Well, yeah, two about two people. He was effective, he was efficient, he got outplayed here and there. Didn't stay gold. Didn't stay gold, lost, alright? The fight's there, it's, it's how it is. Well, uh, yeah, I don't mind it, I don't mind it. Also, how do you feel about Diablo being taken out this way if Jordan gets Requiem and they're kind of e- even as an actual fight, then I'll take it back? No, it's not an, it's not an even fight. It's not an even fight. Not, and you'll see that. Yeah. So, next question from Aspen Log. I wouldn't, maybe what, I don't know. It's interesting for Iraqi, right? Because he's going for the more symbolic, like, the boss wavered. He yeah, went, exactly. He went cowardly, therefore he lost the fight. And you'll see the extra sort of poetic justice next, next episode. Would I have liked to have seen the battle of ultimate wills? Will's wits, that kind of thing. Yeah. You'll see the ultimate poetic justice oh, no. next you week. You choice from Iraqi. It's not over. Okay. You'll see the ultimate poetic justice. Sure. All right. Question from the show from Aspen Log. 
Why did you cry for Choco uh, Jumbo's death? Poor boy had years left. If he wasn't there, the rancher would have died already by having his unconscious body fall to uh, his death from a plane or getting jumped by Pesci when he was an old man. Better put respect on, on the name. Now, is he talking about the turtle? Choco Jumbos. It's gonna be a turtle, right? I think he's talking about the turtle. Is the turtle dead? I guess the turtle's dead. The turtle soul's dead, right? Okay, yeah, sure. Rip the turtle. The uh the transport vehicle. The secret dimension room that we were in for so long. Okay. Destroyed, dead. Where is Polo there far? He turned to his dead body. He turned to his dead body, that's true. Yeah, also, he, his stand he's, kind of died. Yeah, but it's not a long really part of him because it's gone berserk. Yeah. Requiem's a different story. Requiem's are so powerful, they're beyond the user. Also, should the turtle just be a normal turtle now because he's fucking souls in the ether? I guess. But Diopio died in a different body last week. Yeah, I know. So the turtle's soul should be dead. Therefore, the yeah. stand shouldn't be active. Therefore, he shouldn't have a key in his back. Yeah, but the key is... I don't fucking know, right? There's a whole lot of things All there. Right. But I don't think the turtle's ability works. Okay. Yeah, okay. And there you go. Now, did I miss Return the Slab's question? Probably. And I, I apologize for that, Return the Slab. Yeah, we can pull it up. You can pull it up. I'm not sure if it's there. But I assume Return the Slab left a question for us for this week's episode of Joy No Brokenness. Do you see it anyway? Pull it up. He's in the wrong section. I know how YouTube is. Just click the video. Click on the video, mate. It'll send you there. There you go. We go. We got a question. Question. Since part five is reaching the end, what anime scene do you feel the most improved from manga? The train sequence. The train sequence is going to go down in history as the best thing in part five. Yes. Get great, ready. Great, great setting. The, it's the, the train, the outside of the train, the speed, the intensity. Great Bruno, with that. With that ninja kick. Ninja kick. Testing of wills. It great really show, It really props up uh, Bruno as a leader. Yeah. It's a shame it kind of falls apart at the end. What do you mean it falls apart at the end? Yeah, he's kind of sidelined. He doesn't really have a moment. Oh, Bruno yeah. himself. Not the fight. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, we're going we're gonna to move the focus on to Jordo because he's yeah. in the background for a lot. But I don't know if Jordo ever have, really has that leadership moment. It's kind he, of all individually dished out between, between the all mem- the crew members. Well, he's got that part with Naranjo. He's got that part with Mr. Abacho kind of warms up to him at the end. Yeah. Uh, he already got Bruno on side. And yeah, he already got Bruno on side in the first fight. So he's got everyone on side. Yeah. You know, Fugo. You know. Fugo. Uh, oh, well, he tries to convince... Like, he tries to convince Mr. about, like, last week. Yeah. With the gun and yeah. fucking whatever. And then, you know, he doesn't really rally the group. They all start to panic. Bruno So doesn't. Bruno steps in as a leader. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. Well, he evolved... Now he's undeniable. Sure. He's undeniable. But we know the, the boy's gold. Yeah. The boy's, he's undeniable. All right. There you go. That is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Two weeks. King of Kings. We will do a bonus fashion guide because we did not anticipate an hour special removing two episodes. So there you go. There you go. There you go. Stay gold. Shakes is the gold king. Indeed.